speaking to me about the word. And that's my favorite subject. I remember when I first got saved. I used to watch TV ministry, right? And then one preacher used to say, huh? Just keep looking at the word. Just keep looking at the word. Then I mean you go back. Read it again. Then I mean you go back. Read it again. You know, you know, he kept pushing that thing in my spirit. And I found out today that most Christians can't quote a whole scripture out of the Bible. Huh? I should be able to walk down, I should be able to walk down every every row in this church right now. And stop and say, what, what? Give me a word that's in your heart. And you should be able to say, there is therefore no condemnation mm -hmm. for them who are in Christ Jesus. Huh? Yours might be something else. Yours might be something else. I mean, seasoned Christians. I ain't talking about babies. You know, because we're not looking at the word. The Bible says the word is the lamp unto our feet. Yeah. And the light unto our pathway. How can we live without the word? How we can have success without the word? Church. 
church is. The church is the body of Christ. We come to the building to assemble ourselves. We are the church. The Bible says the kingdom of God is in you. We are the church. You don't even know the power you possess. You don't even know who you are. The kingdom of God is in you. When you walk into confusion, something's got to change. But you just can't get enough. You gotta go back and read some more. Yeah, yeah. It's like food for your spirit. That's why Jesus said, the word of God is that bread. Did he say it? Man should not live. I pray alone. Look at every word. See now the mouth of God. Every word.
Guess what? He didn't write it. That's right. That's right. He authorized the scribe to write it. And they got closed off in a room. And each one had their particular letters to place in there. In a room. But they won't by themselves. Between each one was a Roman soldier. And if this one had that word, and if people look like he was trying to slip something in there, they would kill him on the spot. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Huh? Mm. See, they won't tell you that. There's an old King James. He, he was a homosexual. You read his Bible, but you ain't read King James. You read the authorized version that the God anointed men to give them to understand how in the world can you have 66 books and all of them coincide? Talk about the same thing, the same prophecy, and it come to pass. I tell you, you can't even get the same sentence from him <laughs> to him. <laughs> Somebody say something around here. Right. Huh? That's why we need the word. We need the word. We need the word. Bring it up where you lost the love. I always say, I don't want to make you glad twice. <laughs> I'm glad they came. I'm glad they came. I'm glad they go on too. <laughs> <My Lord. laughs> we thank God for being here. You know, but we want this thing to stick in your spirit mm, like dust. You know, sometimes you get something that, like a piece of dust between your toes and it's so hard to get it out. I don't want that word to get in there so tight and stuff that you can't just, you gotta, I can't get it out. <laughs> yes, sir. Morning by morning, children, read the word. I tell you right now, probably most children under 12 years old can't even recite the Lord's Prayer. That's true. Huh? Ain't no shame. It's a shame. They taught us the Lord's Prayer. Huh? And hold that now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Is that in there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is 66 books, so a lot of them might have missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> People water down stuff. Do you know that when you get the watered down version, you never get the anointing and the power that you need? Come on. That's right. See, that was the purpose of the enemy moving in the church to bring these authorized, these, these unauthorized versions. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> see, get them mad again, so I get mad again. The Catholic has got a Bible. Ain't it? Additional books and stuff like the preacher said. Ain't this? Huh? Jehovah's Witness got a Bible. Huh? It looks like this. It reads like this. That ain't it. Huh? Muslims got a Bible. Mm -hmm. On one side of the Quran, on one side of the Bible. Did you know that? Yep, they can. It ain't this. You got to mind what you're picking up and reading. Because when you look at it, you start reading, it's getting your spirit. And once it's in your spirit, oh man, it's something else to try to get that thing out. Mm -hmm. You know some old traditional stuff people will tell you? That, that it's so hard to get out of your spirit. The Lord said, if you take one step, he'll take two. But you try to get it out of them. You try to get it out of them, you have a fight on your hands. You have a fight on your hands. And the Lord said, no, they always tell you, yeah, I know the Lord, the Lord tell you today, but he give you five cents or two. <laughs> yes, you're right. But that's not in here. You know what five cents is all right? Taste, touch, smell, hear me? What is that in the Bible? He gave you five cents. But don't let none of them give you direction in life. That's right. I mean, you might see. I got, huh? Huh? I might hear. Huh? But it's not of the spirit. They ain't gonna be by the spirit. He give you five cents or two. He showed you all I do with five cents is locked up in the same side. <laughs> you won't feel this stuff. It's the word. We need the word. See, I, I, I'm, I'm real, real adamant about this thing, people. Because when you get the word in you, 
Then that false prophet just can't tell you anything. Amen. Amen. You know, huh? You come in and say, look, this is one, this is one false prophet come on TV. Every time I catch him, you know, when you, I go from the word to TVN a lot, you know. And I flip to the word sometimes and he's up there. And every time he's talking about this $5,000 seed, the Lord gonna bless you. This is $5,000 seed right now. He's gonna give you your blessings. Now, listen. listen. <laughs> if, you, if, you did, if you did it once, once a, a month, you might have gotten me out. Yeah. I might wait to listen a little while. I might, I might, I might, you know. He can mix some word in there, but every time you go, he's talking about give me a seed. <laughs> and then they go in there and tell you, the first fruits is what you're supposed to. Mm. Get your first fruits. Huh? <laughs> That's why you need the word. Amen. Because you get sucked into that stuff and it sounds so pretty. And you can look at all the wealth that they have. You know what they got? Good <laughs> folk like us been given. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. 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 And the Lord blessed me with a jet plane. Yes. What you need a jet plane for? You ain't going away from California to New York. Your own jet. What's that? What? what? Ain't come five thousand dollars to bring you here. You gonna stay where you at? <laughs> Before I pay the five thousand dollars for a preacher to stand in my pulpit, huh, I go call the deacon. Say, deacon, look at the That's why we gotta study this thing, and if we don't talk about it in the pulpit. It'll just keep on going. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we don't pull the colors off, they'll just keep on prospering. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, brother. When, when I was in charge of the radio station in Greenville, I was, had programming going on, right? And this other brother, he was the general manager. Loving it there, loving it there. And then, if you want, if you have some money, you could buy some time. He didn't care who it was. <laughs> Man, the, the these people come up there. What do you call them? He must be from the light. Uh, yeah. With the five, five hand, the hand on the door. And oh, the yeah. Tarot reader, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, he got one of them jokers to come to the radio station and to put him on the air. I said, he ain't gonna stay here. <laughs> and I ain't saying nothing. He's the general manager. I ain't fuss. I ain't say nothing. I put him on the air. And then when he go off, I come back and say, and you should read the word of God. Because God will tell you. <laughs> I go back and touch the devil and mess all of them. That's right. He, he didn't stay on the ass three months. <laughs> After that, he didn't even come back no more. One, one day, he sent his wife, and I was sitting there, oh, you're Michael Atkins? Yes. Oh, well, we need to talk to him. I'm in charge now. Okay, well, we come back. We come back. Because <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I'm going to play in that. You got to stand for something. That's right. Yeah. Are you fall for anything. That's right. If you don't show that you're standing, your children won't have no respect for you. That's right. You know that? If we have to continue to let that mess come on, and the children got so much wisdom, they say, they ain't never some junk. I ain't going to listen to that radio station no more. Huh. See, they know we will fall because some of the devil tried to slip in the door just for a few dollars. Yeah. We, we sell ourselves out for a few dollars. That's enough, sir. Ain't more than That's why you need the word. That's right. See, my thing is that my favorite scripture is study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, now you take that one scripture and meditate on that enough, you'll begin to understand why the disciples said that. Because in the last days, they'll come telling you anything. Mm -hmm. And if you can't divide it rightly, you'll be messed up. You think they're telling you the truth. And this is that day. This is that day. See, see, 
I, I thank God for people who got these multi-million dollar churches. Thank God that they're doing what they do. If they mess, they just mess. That's right. See, some folk run to these big churches mm -hmm. and they mess it. You mess around, you a member of that church and you want $175 to pay your light bill. You've been paying tithes for the last three years and they say, let me go talk to the deacon. Don't they They send you right away. They, they give you $75 and tell you to go see the Salvation Army. <laughs> that's what they tell you. And that's true. But then you go right back the next Sunday with your tithe and offering. Can't get no help. So, sometimes you have to wear that thing out and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. just bought a new car. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta weigh that thing out, you know? See, that's why you gotta go where you can grow. That's right. It don't matter the size. Now, now, if you go to a mega church and people growing, God bless you. Amen. You know, there are some that are rightfully dividing the word of truth, but, just, but there are a lot more. Huh? That's what it says in the word. It says, straight is the gate. And narrow is the way to righteousness. And few there be that find it. But wide is the gate, broad the way to destruction. And many there be that go in there and want to break it down? Want to tell you with me? Want to tell you with me? Let me just like this pathway. It's straight. And it's narrow. And we who are righteous, we'll walk in that straight path. See? But on that other road, it's wide. It's broad so everybody can get in. You know why? Because they can slip out when they want to. That's it. And slip back in when they want to. Oh, and come on, get back in the road, you know. But that straight gate, you you know, you know who on the straight road, don't you dog? You know. Because see, when they slip out on the straight gate, you say, hey honey, I ain't seen you in church. <laughs> you know, you know, you got a little bit more makeup on the day you used to have on. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? On that straight gate. You, you know, we, we're together. We, we can see one another. That's right. That's but on that broad way of destruction, it says that hell has enlarged itself. Uh -huh. Hell wasn't meant for you and I. Yeah. But because we're so hard-headed, hell had to be enlarged on, so they can fix all these hard-headed children yeah. that's running the, behind the tattoo shop. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again, Jesus. <laughs> they're running behind the bike fence. <laughs> I just don't get it. Same folk we talking about. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a diva. Don't y'all be mad at me. Don't y'all be mad at me. Yourself, you know, <laughs> but if you call yourself a diva, and I can't tell the diva from the hooker, <laughs> that's right. I mean, it, it, it's okay to be divinely inspired, or what do you say? D, D, divine. Y'all know what I mean. I know one in here. I know one. Don't be sure. Y'all know what diva mean. Divinely inspired or something, something. Don't worry about it. We ain't gonna worry about it. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's okay to be inspired and divinely <laughs> and pushed on by the Lord. But uh, you, you ain't gotta be loose, though. That's it. If you're gonna be a deal for the Lord, then you need some word, huh? Amen. Uh, Amen. See, you, you need to be able to walk through a group of men with your clothes on and they still go, whoa. That's a woman right there. That's a woman, huh? And, and then when they say something, I don't play that song. Love the Lord. Huh? Amen. Then you're a draw out in the church. But if you're a diva, uh, with, your, with your stuff all half unbuttoned and your, your tattoo, you got to wear a split so everybody can see that tattoo over there. <laughs> something wrong. Something wrong. Come on. Little, little. Oh. I, know, I, know, I know some folks don't like it, but you know. Holiness is the way. And, and, and if you did those things before, out of not knowing and ignorance, that's okay. That's okay. 
But now that you know that the way you carry yourself, you gotta clean yourself up. Because you don't supposed to look like the world. And the way you won't look like the world is when you get in the word. See, the word of God is like a mirror, it doesn't shine on you. And it'll tell you what's wrong with you. You believe? Huh? We behold this thing as an open glass. It ain't behold out. We we supposed to look in the word. And see where we fall short. Not, 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 not where he falls short. I'm going to look at that says, you know, let them that among you walk it straight. When you don't, brother, you should have heard that word today. <laughs>